Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. Today I want to talk to you about a knife that most people in the Swiss Army community know about, and that is the Soldier. This is the 1961 model of the Soldier. It's a two layer. This is what was actually issued to the Swiss Army. It's a 93 millimeter Alox knife. They made them from 1961 to 2008. There's a little bit of difference between this and the Pioneer in that the blade is a little bit thicker and screwdriver bottle opener is thicker. Also, the back of the blade of the master blade is dated. Now to get some of the specs out of the way real quick, it's a 93 millimeter knife which is just over two and a half inches. It has a 70 millimeter blade which is two and three quarters of an inch. Fully opened it is 162 millimeters which is just over uh, six and a quarter inches. The width is 11.5 millimeters and that comes out to just under half an inch. And the weight is 69.7 grams which is almost two and a half ounces. Like I said, it was made from 1961 to 2008 when the knife was replaced with a 111 millimeter knife. And it was, this knife was also made by Victor Knox and Uyghur. I hope I pronounced that right, Uyghur. And the shield on it was not your standard Victor Knox shield. They used the same shield whether Victor Knox or Uyghur made it. And you can see the shield there. And then down here at one time they would put a uh, approval stamp from the military on it. The back is plain. A locks and then see here where you have your Victor Knox logo and then on the back it shows the date when it was made this is a 1982 model now still a little stiff I do not use this one it had the all which on the Pioneer model this, like I said, this is basically the same as the Pioneer. That all comes in very handy for doing little things here and there. Your can opener blade. And then your screwdriver. Now, if you look at the blade here, if I can turn right, you'll see that there's a bit of a scallop there that was for helping strip wires here and it has a hollow rivet oh, let me bring it back in here it has a hollow rivet which I have a piece of string to it so I can hang on my board um, like I said, someone, uh, I think I believe I said it at the beginning, someone had asked me one time if I had these, I said no. And then I was looking through my knives and found this one, and then I also found its cousin, the DAC, which is the Dutch Army knife. Now, it differs in that it has a bale on it, the date is here on the scale and it has KL which is Dutch for the Royal Army and then it has the silver cross on it and as you can see here your markings and then on the back it is plain
Now, I don't know how long the DAC was made. I do know that they started making them in 83. Uh, this is an 85 model, and I believe I've seen where they may have been used in 92, also with the 92 date on it. And it's very similar to your soldier model. Now, I have one other, and normally the soldiers aren't made as a uh, limited edition knife. But for the movie Armageddon, they made one. And as you can see, the box is a little banged up. I've moved several times since I got this knife. When the movie first came out, I did buy this knife uh, around, I believe it was 1997, thereabouts, 1998. But as you can see this does not have the hollow rivet and on the blade they have laser etched in there Armageddon the name of the movie and you have your Victor Knox on the back here and then the date 97 and also I believe it says uh, Touchstone Touchstone Productions lasered etch into the back. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Other than that, there's no difference between this and the soldier that was issued. Uh, just to show you the box that it comes in. Yes. Over on this side, Victor Knox on the back has a little bit of information on it, and then both sides just said Victor Knox. And on the end of the box, you see it says uh, Soldier Boxed Armageddon, and so on. Let me just go ahead and put that up there. We're down there. Nope, can't see it there. So let's slide everything up so you can next to the knife. So as you can see, I have a small collection of soldiers, three to be exact. I have used a soldier. I used to carry that in my. Um, this one I used to carry in my pocket off and on. It was in the rotation there for a while when I was over in Germany. I have not carried this one. I was just before I left Germany in 86, I saw this in a store and I said, eh, that's cool. And I got it. Uh, one of the uh, guys I worked with that was in the uh, Netherlands Air Force uh, told me about this I showed it to him and he explained to me that that was their issued pocket knife and then again like I said I really enjoyed this particular movie and when I saw that I could get a Victor Knox Swiss Army knife for the movie I did it Hope you enjoyed this little review of the soldier if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember always be prepared